Yes, I understand that every life must end. Oh, as we sit alone, I know someday we must go. Oh, yeah, I'm a lucky man to count on both hands the ones I love. Some folks just have one, yeah, others they got none, no. Uh -huh. Stay with me, uh, let's just breathe. Kirk Caselli here, out at the uh, Nathan Woods Memorial Ride Day, uh, more of a celebration ride day. Um, it is the 23rd of February, 2011. We had the uh, first round of the work series just three weeks ago, out in Taft, and uh, you know, it, that was one of the races that you never forget, not because uh, you know, I won or anything like that, but personally, um, you know, I lost a good friend, Nathan Woods, and it's, uh, it's been something that I've had to, to deal with with my father, losing him, but, but to see uh, a younger guy like Nathan, who's my friend, doing something that he loved, everybody knows that signing up for a race comes with a lot of, uh, a lot of danger, but you, you never really think about, about losing somebody. So, uh, you know, the first round went, it was tough for everybody, I think. We all went out there just kind of riding to have fun and, and to, to be safe. And, um, you know, losing Nathan and not having him out on the racetrack was, was tough for all of us. This is, this is amazing. I mean, today we're at Glen Helen and uh, there's so many people here. I don't know, uh, at least a couple hundred people. There's a silent auction going on with more jerseys than I've seen from anybody. Uh, a bunch of guys from the Supercross series stepped in, threw in some jerseys, pants, sets of gear, helmets. Um, we have a full set of Kevin Windham gear that uh, was auctioned off and you know it just goes to show that, that even if uh, we're in the off-road you know, community and, and not really doing a lot of Supercross stuff, those guys are willing to help and uh, obviously sponsors, uh, all of Nathan's old sponsors, um, so a lot of the same sponsors I have have uh, come out today, put everything that they were doing aside and, and just tried to get out here and um, you know it's it's awesome. Uh, unfortunately, we're here because we lost a friend, but at the same time, we're all here together. So uh, it, it makes me happy to see how many people showed up and, and how much stuff that uh, was donated for the auction and also for a raffle. He was definitely huge in this sport, you know, an icon, and he's the most you know, winningest works rider in history. And uh, to still have him put his family first and his friends first, it means a lot, you know, uh, shows a lot about the character of the guy. And, and it's just, he's going to be missed. He's going to be missed by me, um, his family, obviously, and a, and a lot of people out here, and definitely a lot of people in the industry. So we pretty much are going to ride for him for, for years and years. My name's Charles Jursa. I work for Factory KTM, and uh, just this past year I worked for Nathan as uh, Factory Husaberg, but our friendship goes way further back than that. We actually met back in about 2003, racing the 24-hour endurance series out here at Glen Helen, and uh, you know, became good friends, and next thing I know I was working for Zip Tie Racing Factory Yamaha, where I was actually able to do whatever I could to help him win his second works championship in 2005. We won the 24 hours of going Helen in 2005, and then when he moved on to Kawasaki and Suzuki, he pretty much stayed great friends and always, you know, hung out at the races and did all kinds of different things. And um, so, you know, being a good friend of Nathan and basically spending a good part of my career around him and becoming friends, uh, we felt fitting that you know we put together a good ride day here at Glen Helen and uh, try to pay tribute to a great champion, great person. Uh, great family man. I can't say enough about the guy. I mean, treats his friends and competitors with the utmost respect and is probably one of the best husbands I've ever seen in my life. So, you know, I really feel for the family and uh, who've also become close friends of mine. So, uh, we're going to ride, we're going to race, we're going to continue on because that's what Nathan would want and he'll never be forgotten. Everybody to celebrate.
great in his life. Um, he didn't want people mourning him. He doesn't want people being sad. He doesn't want people to riding their dirt bikes. You know, we had talked about all these things. We had our family plans. We had everything figured out. Um, he was going out this year basically back at privateer status. Uh, we were behind him 150% and he was ready. So I know this was just a freak accident and it's just one of those things that happens. He just, he lived every day to the fullest and he lived his life with no regrets. We're out here today for Nathan's family um, in support of them and uh, help raise some money and you know in memory of Nathan. You know he's an awesome guy, awesome person, great rider, great friend. The guy was an animal. He's had many successful years of racing. He was a, a winningest works rider. Uh, I think he had a pretty great career. He was a phenomenal rider in any area that he did, and he always had respect, and he was always a uh, good person, never really cool guy to you when he got successful or anything, you know. He was the same Nathan always, and I really respected that out of him. Well, Nathan was a, a huge friend, you know, that I lost, and, uh, you know, it's, it's a sad day, but at the same time, Amanda, Nate, Braxton, I know this is a healing process with Hundreds of people coming out, and in the service they had last week, thousands of people showing up for that. So uh, it's neat to see so many people supporting them and uh, knowing how much you know he affected them because you know he was a big inspiration to me. You know how hard he worked and uh, never give up attitude, and he was definitely someone special and someone we're going to really miss. Nothing you would take, everything you gave. Hold you till I die, see you on the other side.